Hello, my friends. It is me and I am adding an extra little video to our class page today because yesterday Mrs. Barnett and I were talking and we realized that you probably don't have poppies to wear on your shirts for Remembrance Day. Usually at school we get a sticker to put on our shirts for Remembrance Day and we're not at school this year and well we're not in the school building this year so we can't get poppy stickers and many of us are not going out to stores and getting poppies to put on our clothes at stores this year either so i thought i should show you how you can make your own poppy to wear if you want to wear something that you've made for remembrance day now, maybe some of you, I know um, at least one of you has watched the art video that I put on the choice board about how to make poppy a poppy picture. But um, in case you haven't, I'll show you how to make a poppy here. So you can start with a piece of red paper. If you do not have red paper at home, you can just color white paper either with a crayon or a marker or a pencil crayon or... Mm, I was going to say pastels, but you probably do not want to use pastels because if it rubs against your clothes, it could stain your clothes. So I would not use pastels if you have them. I would use pencil crayons or crayons or markers, okay? And I have drawn half a heart on this page. See, I had a rectangle. I folded it in half and then I drew half a heart. Here is a rectangle. I have not drawn half the heart yet. So I'm going to fold it. And on the where the fold is, see there's the fold. Where the fold is, I'm going to draw half the heart. Like that. Okay. And then I have another rectangle. I'm going to fold the paper. and draw half a heart again. And if that's, if you're feeling like that's a little bit tricky for you, ask a grown up to help you. I'm sure they'll be happy to help you. So we need one, two, three, four. You need four of these, okay? And we want to keep it folded don't let it open. Keep it folded as you cut on the line. And if you really want to open it up and you need some help to keep it closed, you can put a staple in it or ask a grown up to do that for you. Or a piece of tape. You can use a piece of tape here. I'll show you that too to keep it closed. Okay? Put a piece of tape on it to keep it closed. And that way you won't be tempted to open it because the trick only works if the if the fold is if the paper's closed. Okay, so here I'm cutting on the line. And when I open it up, look at that. It's a heart. So we are going to have four hearts by the end. And I'll show you how to put the hearts together to make a poppy to wear on your clothes. There's another heart. Here's another heart. And one more, here's the fourth one. Going to glue these together and if you've already watched the art video you'll know that when this way of making a poppy you put the points together okay and this time because we're putting the we're only making a poppy we're not gluing it onto paper you need to overlap the points okay so that they stick together so I'm only going to put glue in the middle. 
you see where the glue is there? I don't know if you can see. It's blue. I only put glue right here in the middle, right where the point is. And then I can overlap like that so that they stick together. OK, then I'm going to do glue in the middle again. Like that. And I have my third poppy that I'm going to put here. And my fourth poppy, I'm still going to join the, the points together. See, I'm putting all the points touch, these two points touching as well. Like that. Okay. And I'm going to take a black marker and make a nice black dot in the center because poppies usually have a dark center. See, here's my poppy. So, What can we use to fasten these to our clothes on Remembrance Day? Because on Remembrance Day, people wear a poppy on their shirts or their coats right here on this side, on the right side, left side, sorry, right here. What could we use? Hmm. I think some tape would work, right? You could put a loop of tape like this and put it on the back and then stick it on your shirt. And as long as you don't play with it or fiddle with it, it'll stick there. You could also use a safety pin like this. You could ask a grown up at your house if you have any of these safety pins. They're closed on the top, so it's not going to. It's not an open pin. It's not going to prick you. See, it closes at the top. So if you have any of these in your house. You could use one of. These I'm just going to. Put the pin through the poppy here and put it on my shirt. Like this, you'll probably want to get even if. If you have these at home, you'll probably need some help to actually get it on your clothing. They're a little bit tricky to use, but you can pin it on yourself like that. All right, so. I hope you all have a chance to make a poppy before. Uh, Remembrance Day so that you can wear a poppy in honor of all of the brave men and women that we are remembering that day. OK, don't forget to clean up your mess, my friends. Don't leave a mess for your family to clean up for you. Your mess is your job. Enjoy making poppies, everybody.